Hey YouTube, Eagle Run 23 here. Check these guys out. So, all right, so I got these on Etsy. Now I'm perfectly capable of 3D printing, but this guy, it's Elite3Dedesigns.com. This guy has made something really stinking cool. So you mount this into your little cutoff saw, which I picked one up, I'll show it to you here in just a second but you're able to feed your cases, and there's a ball detent. You're able to feed your cases through, and you hit them with your chop saw, and then it auto ejects. You push the next case through it, and your cut case comes out, and the next one clicks right there on your ball detent. Chop it, and eject it. So this gray one here was made for the 8.6 blackout. And I went ahead because I, because I was here and I don't know, maybe we're gonna do some 300 blackout, I don't know. I went ahead and picked one up. They're only like 11 or 12 or $13 or something. And I figured for the shipping, I might as well go ahead and get the blackout one because if we like it, we like it. If not, we can do a giveaway get for it or something, I don't know. So here we go with 8.6 blackout. We're starting to make our own cases. I am not pioneering any of this. This is all stuff I've seen, you know, guys doing. There's a lot of information on the 8.6 blackout Facebook group, as well as several other YouTubers that are putting together little tutorials on how to do this. And I am trying to follow along and I figured I would show it to you as well. So here is the plan. We're going to well, we have a couple of choices here, actually. Um, this is 308 brass. From what I understand, the problem with 308 brass is that you gotta turn these necks down. Now, that's not a problem for most people. I don't have a neck turner. So if you've been reloading for a while, you may already have a neck turner. And so 308 would be the way to go. I ordered in a thousand of those because I thought I was gonna, I could make, I don't know, I could make a couple things with those. Um, in my mind, I thought 308 would be the way to go, but as it turns out, getting 6.5 Creedmoor cases is the way to go. So we have some once fired Creedmoor, that, cause we reload Creedmoor, so we've got quite a bit of once fired Creedmoor, maybe two or 300 rounds. And then I ordered in a thousand rounds of Starline, brand new. Now they say it's sold out, but if you place an order, I placed an order on like Monday, and this stuff was here on a Friday, and it said it was sold out, so I don't, I don't know what they're doing over there, but I was glad to have it, not gonna worry about it. When you when you neck out the 6.5 Creedmoor, when you get to your final size, which would look like, which would look like that. When you get to your final size, I guess the neck thickness is fine and it no longer needs turned. So that would be ideal for us because maybe I don't have to buy a turner. I mean, I'm probably gonna want a neck turner at some point anyway, but regardless. So the game plan is, 6.5 Creedmoor goes in, we chop it down, we eject it out, and then we're going to run it through our 308 die set here. So because I only have a progressive machine, you guys are gonna think this is crazy. I went ahead and picked up, they had these for like $50. This is a reconditioned or refurbished or something or other, Lee Breach lock loader press so i'm thinking i'm not going to mount it here but i'm thinking can you guys see that there we go that we will mount this somewhere and we're going to let this guy do our work oh i hope i have a shell oh there's a shell holder in there lee lee does a great job of loot they give you everything you need and this was not expensive either lee stuff is really affordable so i guess that goes in like that and then we load our it hasn't been chopped yet but we load our brass we've got our bushing there and then we are going to we won't i guess some of them could need deep primed but we're going to load in our resizer full length resizer and we'll run that up. Oh, that's not, that's kind of junky. All right, anyway, we'll run that up. We'll let this little machine do the work and 
chunk it up and down to get our 6.5 bumped out to 308. And then and maybe we can do this stage over. I don't know, maybe I'll do this stage here. I can throw in my, you know what? I also have a Lee set for 8.6 blackout. Maybe we could do the first stage of blackout here and just do those one at a time, but we wouldn't have to do it again because once the cases are made, they're made. So anyway, that's my thought process. So let me show you the saw. So this is pretty much designed for the drill master. This is the Harbor Freight Special here. And this is this mini, they call it a two inch bench top cutoff saw. Now, outside of making brass cases, I'm not for sure what the uh, what the other uses for this would be. I know a lot of guys make 300 blackout with this, which would make sense. Why we're using it for 8.6 blackout? All right, that's easy enough. They have a full tutorial video about how to do this. They make it, it's just a really well thought out design. So this is going to index on that middle hole. We probably should get a, oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, so that hole doesn't go all the way through. I, you know what? They did mention that. Let's uh, let's get a drill bit and punch that through. Okay, holy smokes! If it is not absolutely necessary for you to drill that hole from the top side, which uh, I didn't have the right bit, I I had to use a certain bit and I had to go in from the top, which meant I had to take this apart. If you don't have to take this apart, do not take this apart. There's just a C-clip there, the pin slides out, but that little spring in there, uh, right back in there, there's a spring that gives it its return. That thing is a beast to get in there. Okay, so while we're here, this little red keeper um, stops the saw from going down unless this switch is depressed. I don't know if that's gonna annoy me or not. Anyway, um, so we've got our our little cutoff jig set up. I have a uh, Q Factory 8.6 blackout case and we've got it right there on the end. You guys want to cut one here with me? Let's see, see what happens. That one's 308. Where did our 6.5 go? Okay, brand new Starline 6.5 Creedmoor case. Oh, we need power. I've heard this thing is really loud. You ready? Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, here we go. Wait, can you guys see? You guys can't see. Wait, is that better? You're going to be able to see. When uh, when we have this as a real tutorial, I'll make sure we got a better view. So that's just the little cheap factory um, blade that comes on there. Allegedly, there's a Norton that I, that may be too short. I don't know. So that looks to be real close. I'm hoping that I can spend time and get this set up. Uh, is that square? Yeah, it looks pretty square. I'm hoping I can spend some time to get this set up and then that will save you time uh, later when you're ac actually having to, to, to turn or to trim this down and do your case trimming to final length. You're gonna have to trim regardless, but I also want to experiment with, is it better to cut it like this and then run it through the die or should I run it through the die and then trim it? We're gonna have to experiment with that. So once we get all set up here and we're actually rocking and rolling, I will have a much better tutorial for you. This is just kind of going over some of the components. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. 
Eagle Run 2-3. Thanks for watching.